navigate that biting point and control it with that. A bit higher, hold it there. Okay, break, 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 okay, break, 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 okay, break, 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 break. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another driving lesson with Rajan. For those of you who don't know, we are filming every single one of Rajan's driving lessons and uploading them onto YouTube each week. Um, so um, last lesson, what did we do? Uh, we done the reverse bay parking. Yeah, and how did that go? Um, it went decent. Yeah, so, yeah. We, you picked her up quite well, didn't you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And obviously, we need to practice it more, yeah? But yeah. like with each lesson, it's not about perfecting everything, yeah? It's about understanding how to do it and what to do, yeah? Yeah. Okay? And um, the reason why we like, well, I like to do um, a maneuver quite early on is it helps you with that, it helps you with that clutch control, yeah? Yeah. Uh, another thing um, that we agreed that we we're going to do today, it's also going to help you with clutch control, yeah? What do we agree we, we, that we were going to do? Hells. Yeah, hills. So this uh, this topic, you know, whenever I get a new student who's had lessons before and I ask them um, what they what they feel their main weaknesses are, it's normally hills and uh, roundabouts. Yeah. So hills. Th this lesson, yeah, is um, I'm not sure how many instructors out there do um, uh, teach hills like uh, I teach, but I've had comments in the in the past, negative comments about this, about how I do it, that the way I'm teaching it can wear out the clutch. And, and not good for the car, but to for me, it's not about that. The car is is a tool basically that I use to help Lynn drivers, and I feel the way I teach this, yeah, it helps massively. I, uh, obviously, I've been instructing for quite a few years now. I've tried lots of different techniques, and when I didn't used to do this, um, I feel like the learners weren't as good on hills um, as one of the ones uh, learners that have um, used this technique here, yeah, which I'm going to teach today. So uh, yeah. Um, anybody that does say, oh, it's not good for the car, or I shouldn't be teaching like this, uh, to be honest, guys, I, I'm not really fussed, yeah. Every instructor is going to have their own techniques. I feel my techniques work, and uh, yeah. So by the end of today's lesson, um, hopefully Rajan understands what to do on hills, yeah, okay, and he's uh, much better with that uh, clutch control, yeah. Yeah. Um, guys, Rajan is using the ultimate driving course which uh, the reason I love to use um, the ultimate driving course because it's going to save us a lot of time now. Yeah, so you've watched the videos. Yeah. Yeah. And just quickly, give me a couple of things that you learned from the videos about the hills. Okay, yeah. So when we're moving off uphill, and usually we have the um, rev like to one or just above one, it's going to have to be a lot more because obviously the way we're facing, we could roll back down. So it's going to have to be about around 3,000. And... Um, we're also going to have to control the clutch um, so that we're not going back, going forward. And when we're coming up to like a junction here, we're going to have to, um, is there like prepare like two car lengths before? Start slowing down two car lengths before. Yeah, we normally start slowing down anyway, yeah. But, yeah. but, but what's the difference like with this, oh, there's a full junction here, yeah. yeah. The difference between that and a normal uh, flat junction. And this is obviously more steep, so. Yeah, so. Kind of even a normal flat one, you normally get gear one, yeah, and we yeah. normally keep the clutch down. But what are we going to do here? Um, we're just going to have to, we're going to have to control the clutch. When yeah. Towards so the when end. you say control the clutch, instead of keeping it down, what are you going to do? We're going to have to bring it back up and find where, like, the car won't move. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that that's a clutch control point, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the well, it's the biting point, yeah, and controlling with that. Okay. Once you've uh, got the hang of that, yeah, you'll feel a lot more confident. Yeah. Okay. And this is the thing that I was on about earlier, which I don't feel like many learners uh, go through in the yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's uh, fine. You know when you said the extra, th the, uh, we need more revs, yeah, when we change gear? Yeah. Okay, like it's explained in the video, obviously, when you're on a flat surface and you take your foot off the gas pedal, yeah, yeah. to change gear, it doesn't really affect the speed much. But on a hill, yeah. Yeah, it's like when you're riding a bike. Say you're riding a bike uphill, if you stop pedaling, what's going to happen to the speed? We're going to fall back down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you need that extra speed and um, more revs before you change. Yeah. Um, a gear. Yeah. Okay. Um, right then. So um, yeah, uh, guys, I've brought right into the area where we're going to do um, um, the uphill junctions. Um, so helping you out with the um, uh, junctions, I'll fully talk you through that. Yeah. What yeah. to do with the clutch and that. Yeah. Are you going to be okay with the mirrors and signal? Yeah. 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 On approach. Good. Um, any other um, situations like, you know, like we've got meeting situations where there's parked vehicles, there are going to be plenty of parked vehicles, yeah. Would yeah. you like me to help you out a bit with that? 
and uh, I think it should be okay. So leave that to you, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to kind of do a, like a circuit of turns, yeah? Okay. Yeah. In the first circuit, I'll fully uh, help you out. Okay. Then uh, if you're getting the hang of it, then I'll pass over responsibility to you, yeah? Okay. okay. Yeah. Right then, the weather today, what do you like? It's rainy, it's not the best. <laughs> yeah. Um, out of all days, yeah, guys. So obviously the weather's been pretty good. Yeah, it's been, it's been hot, yeah. And one of the wiper blades needs uh, changing. And so uh, I thought, well, okay, the, the weather's fine. We're not really going to need the um, uh, the wipers. But today, when we are doing this lesson, what happens? It starts raining. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the view uh, from the front camera might not be the best. Um, so apologies for that. Yeah. Right then. So if you start the car for me, whenever you're ready. Okay. So the wipers are set on auto, yeah? Okay. Yeah. The wiper levers, that one on the right hand side. Okay. okay. Yeah. So just so that you do know, just uh, push it down for me. That's it. That switches you off, yeah. yeah. Push it up once. That was twice. That's it. So that sets it to manual, yeah, at a slow speed. Sorry, that, that sets it to auto, so it'll automatically just... Um, Put the wipers on uh, as and when it rains, yeah. yeah. Push it once more, and that's on the manual speed, yeah. Push it once more again, that's on, that'll stay on like that as well, yeah. Okay, really yeah. fast. Do you see we need it on at that speed now? Nah. All the way down, push it all the way down for me. That's it, let it go. So that's off now, yeah. Yeah, and push it up for me once. There we go, that's on um, auto now, yeah. Yeah, okay, right then. So, um what we're going to do here, we're going to upper road, yeah. On an upper road, yeah, that's where we're going to use clutch control and pra practice clutch control, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, keep the clutch pedal down for me now. Select gear one. So now, if you put the handbrake now, down, yeah, what's going to happen to the car? We're going to start rolling back. Yeah, it's going to roll back, yeah. And as you saw me doing the video, what I want you to do, yeah, is... Once the car starts to roll back, I want you to get the biting point and try and control the car, hold the car still with the biting point. Okay, keep the clutch down for now. Yeah. Okay. So normally you get the biting point now, which we, we, we know you're capable of doing, yeah? Yeah. Okay. But I'm going to make it a bit more difficult. Yeah. So put the handbrake down. What I'll do is, you know the, the observations and that, yeah? Yeah. I'll make sure it's clear before I should do anything, yeah? So yeah. I've got the responsibility for that, yeah? I just want you to focus on the clutch and controlling the car, yeah? So, okay. as soon so as, as, the hand as, soon as this goes down, go try to control it. Lay roll back a bit and, di and then get the white weight and control it. If the car's going too far, if the car starts moving forward, yeah, what does that mean you need to do with the clutch? Bring it more down. Good, yeah? Yeah. So, ready? Yeah. So, it is safe. Put the handbrake down for me. Now get the biting point. Higher, higher, higher. Well done. That's really good. See so how the car's still now? Yeah. yeah. I thought we was going to stall though because it started making that noise. Nearly. Okay. Yeah. I want you to do it once more now, yeah. So, so it's forward to, first. Now no, just leave it there. Put, okay, put the clutch all the way down. All the way down. Now get it again. No, that was too far. See, don't really go forward. Yeah. That's it. Don't let it roll back either. Good. Let's try once more, all the way down again, and get it again. See, it's going forward there. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. See, you know this clutch control that we're doing here. This is so you can see that junction there. Yeah. When we get there, see, we're not using the brake here. Yeah. On the upper junction that we do, I want you to practice just holding it with the clutch there, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so we're not going to use any brake. But if you keep edging forward, then, then what's going to happen? Uh, then. Then we're gonna end up in the main road. Yeah. yeah. Again, if there's a car coming. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Then see if there's if there's a lot of traffic here yeah, on the main road, yeah, and you haven't got a gap, then it's fine to obviously press the foot brake, use your handbrake. Yeah. Yeah, and wait. But I want you to um, practice this approach first. Okay. Right then, let's try once more. Clutch all the way down. Shall I go forward first, or? We're here. Yeah, and then. Why? Oh no, I don't know. It just felt like we was, we was very close to our car, but we're not. Which car? Uh, one behind us. Okay, right. So, what made you think you're quite close to the car? This mirror. So, you know this mirror? 
Yeah? No, it, it doesn't give a true reflection. This one doesn't give you a true reflection. No, it does. Yeah, this it one does. gives you a true reflection, the side ones don't, yeah. So yeah. in that mirror, does it look really close or? Not not stupidly close, but it just felt close, yeah. Okay, you were scared that you're gonna roll back into it? Yeah. Okay, you won't. We've got plenty of distance, yeah. Okay. Unless you don't get the biting point in time. Okay. okay. Yeah. Again, controls wise, you're you're in charge of all the controls, yeah. If I do intervene with anything, I'll let you know why I came in, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Clutch pedal fully down. And now get it again. Don't really go forward this this side. It's going forward. Oh god. Bought it. Don't I think the first time oh, come on get the biting point. Get the bite, get the bite, get the bite, get the bite. See it's going forward. Totally okay, good. try not to look there, look forward. Yeah. Yeah. I think the first time you did it, it was the best. It was better, yeah. yeah, it's supposed to be getting better, but <laughs> we kind of got worse. See the car still moving forward? Yeah. That's it. But we need to get to this point a lot quicker. Yeah. Okay? Your reaction, as soon as the car's moving forward, you should be able to react really quick. Yeah. yeah? Right. Clutch pedal fully down again. Let's try once more. Now get it again. Well done. That's it. Like that now. Now I want you to move off, yeah? Check it safe, and now don't rush off the clutch, yeah? Keep the clutch around that point, accelerate first, yeah, before you bring the clutch up. So where should your right foot be? Should be over the gas pedal. Yeah, check it safe. Yeah, it is. And what's our final check? And now. Yeah, it's is it safe? Top. Nah, I'm just gonna That's wait it. now. Yeah. A, Remember, car. you're just controlling with the clutch there, which is really good. Don't bring the clutch higher, otherwise the car's gonna move. Okay. Is it safe? Yeah. yeah. Keep the left foot still, press the accelerator first, please. That's it, set the gas, come on like we normally do. Now bring the clutch up a bit. There we go, like that. Brilliant. Okay. That's yeah. smooth that was, yeah? yeah? Keep the right signal on because we're turning right, yeah? Okay? Yeah. Don't go over this white line. Steer to the right a bit now. See how the car cut the corner there? Yeah. Yeah? That's the kind of thing you were doing in the previous lessons. Clutch down, get the biting point now, control you with the bite. Not too high, not too low. See, there's a car coming after that car, it's clear, but I want you to control you with that clutch, no braking. Go a bit more forward. Check this side. Is it safe? Now, gently accelerate first, accelerate first, accelerate, keep the clutch there. Accelerate like you did when you moved off. Brilliant, well done. Good. And which gear now? Good. Good mirrors as well. Can you get through that gap? Yeah. No, put the That's clutch down. Stop. Stop. Remember the distance from this car, how much should it be? Uh, two metres. Not two metres. Two car lengths. Yeah, two car lengths, yeah. Yeah. I don't need an indicator, do I? Nah, let's go. So you check your mirrors, yeah? No, no, no one's behind you. Was that position quite good? Was it quite obvious that we were waiting to overtake? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't need to signal. If it looks as if you were parked, then... Because you we weren't signal. too close. Yeah. To Get gear to. At the end of the road, we're turning right, yeah? Yeah, so just uh, land down. Yeah. So Again, right. no braking, yeah? Keep going. So the cl the yeah, clutch down and gear one. Now get that biting point and control it with that. A bit higher, hold it there. Okay, brake, 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 brake. Restart the car. See, that was too high there. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, get the biting point. Get the biting point. Hold it there. Yeah. Oh, that's it, hold it there, good. Well done. Is it safe? Keep the left foot there, yeah. Press the gas first. Press the gas. Don't bring the clutch higher. Press, that's it. Yeah. See how we're hearing that, uh, the revs there? That's what you need to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I keep trying to do is like bring it back up to go a bit quicker, but then we're just going to end up stalling. Yeah, we need I'm that gas there. Yeah. Yeah. Just think you couldn't move a bike without pedaling. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be turning right again. Off the brake, off the brake. Yeah. What should you do before yeah. turning right? Signal. Yeah. Off the brake a bit. That's it. We're going to keep the clutch down here. Yeah. Off the brake, let's get to our stopping point. Is it safe? Yeah. And accelerate. See, on a downhill road, it's a lot easier. The car's not going to roll back, so we're not really, we can't use clutch control here. Yeah. yeah? It's only on the uphill ones to, to prevent our car from rolling back, yeah? That, I, that's why I kept braking like so quickly, because I felt like I was going too quick and just going to end up rolling.
after this bend there's going to be a right turn coming up and I'd like you to turn right. Did we cross that line? No, that was good. Which mirror is up? Oh, this. I see. Don't point at him, just do it. Okay. A bit more acceleration. Let's do this once more with my help, yeah? Okay, keep yeah. going. A bit more acceleration. End of the road, we're going to be turning right. Don't come off the gas too early, otherwise, the car's going to slow down too much. Yeah. yeah? We'll be turning right, so what should you have done by now? Here and here. Yeah. Get that biting point, steer to the right a bit. So let's keep edging forward though. Yeah, now. clutch down, clutch back up to the bite, hold it with the bite, hold it with the bite. Keep that left foot there. Which pedal load are you going to press now? The gas. Yeah, press the gas then. That's it. That's it. Keep the clutch around there. That gas is going to help you move. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's the thing I keep forgetting. Yeah. I keep drag come up and then we can never make it that side. And which gear now? Yeah, See, that, that's what we've been lacking in, you know, the previous lessons all when we're moving off. Yeah, yeah. our movements have been a bit slow. Well then, good mirrors. You know what, it's all, I know like the revving thing is a big thing, but it always just sort of puts me okay. off. Off the gas now. Brake, brake them all. Clutch down, select gear one, select gear one, steer to the right, steer to the right, that's it, and carry on. So this is where we stalled last time, yeah? Yeah. Okay, keep going, a bit more gas, retaining right. Don't put the clutch down yet, keep going, because we're in gear one. We don't need to change your gear. Now put the clutch down. Now use that clutch control. Get that bite. A bit higher. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Use a bit of gas to go forward. Good. Good. Is it safe? A bit more gas first. Yeah, please. Keep the clutch there. More gas. Still, we can't hear that gas. Yeah. You you did say earlier, yeah, it's because that, that revving. What, what do you think that revving's bad? Yeah. I, I know it's, it's not that bad, but it just. It's don't, don't think it's bad. We're going to be turning right. That signal too early. No, that's fine. And where should the clutch be now? And which All gear? Steer to the right a bit. That's it. Okay. Is it safe? Yeah. Well then just get used to pressing the gas every time you move. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless whether it's uphill or not. It's just that not this one, the previous turn. It just feels like like I'm always about to store. It's not gonna use the accelerator more. Yeah, but that's how you should be doing every time you even on a flat surface. Yeah. yeah. That's going to help you move off a lot smoother and quicker as well. Okay, be careful of your position. You know, when we've been turning right, yeah. Sometimes you've been too far away from the centre white line, sometimes too close. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to turn right now. Okay, that was too early. See how we got across that side. Yeah. Remember what that car did earlier to us? Yeah, that's yeah? what we were just doing. Yeah, if it obviously wasn't as bad as that car did earlier, yeah, but what if there was somebody come in there now? We would have. Yeah. And I'd like you to park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Okay, how do you think that's gone? It's been okay. Okay, so do you understand what we've been doing there? Obviously you haven't done hills before. Yeah. yeah? And you haven't used that clutch control, so always brake, clutch down, check it's safe, and yeah. then when it's safe, bring that clutch up, yeah? Yeah. But this time, obviously we're, because it's uphill, we're getting the, um, as soon as you're getting first gear, using that clutch to control, to control the car. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, if we could go there and fully stop and do it, yeah. But this is more challenging. Yeah. yeah, and once you're comfortable doing this, you're going to find yourself a lot um, lot more confident on the clutch, yeah. Yeah. What do you think is that one thing that we need to work on? Uh, using the accelerator more whilst yeah. turning. Okay, we need to, um, like, a couple of times, especially when we first moved off from here, used it brilliantly. Yeah. Yeah, even on that junction, you used it well. You, but you've got to do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to get it out of your head, that, that revving sound that you hear, the engine sound, yeah. is bad. 
It's just, you know, more so the one down there, which is quite more steeper. It's just there, like, obviously, it's revving a lot. I know, I don't know why it's just a bad habit, I'll snake it out of it. Yeah, you're just not doing enough. Just think, what would you rather do? Hear the engine sound a bit more when you're moving off or roll back into a car? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I don't car. Yeah, so I think it's not like, um, and you're not even like over revving you or anything. It's what yeah. we need. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, positioning when turning right. Yeah, so there's a center wide line there. Yeah, so when you're turning right, where should you be in accordance to that? More so just a little bit to right side. What right side over the line? No, not over the line, just as close as we yeah, can. Yeah, closer you can. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a reference point for judging that? Yeah. What is it? It's here somewhere in British. You're pretty sure you don't say I'm pretty no, sure. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. No. So you know that reference when that you're on about that's for when we stop at the end so you don't go over the line. Yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm on about here. I wanna see like um Obviously, this is on a bend, so it's the white line is slightly um, uh, curved, so it's going to be difficult to give a reference point, yeah? But the reference point B is, again, you can refer back to the right turn videos, yeah? yeah? It's uh, it's going to be around there somewhere, but it's, it's, not the, it's not the same for everyone, yeah? Yeah. And uh, what I might do is, on one of the turns, uh, when we get the chance, just stop and get the reference point if there's no one behind us, yeah? But you've got to focus on the position, like, once you were going over the white line, and then you were too far to the left, yeah, and there you cut the corner. Um, we're, like we've discovered in like previous lessons, when there's no vehicles there, you like, you don't be too fussed about your position, but you still under, every time I ask you about the danger, you're like, yeah, it can be dangerous, this could happen. Yeah. But you still keep doing it when, it, when the road's empty. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so focus on that position, and if we can't get it right, then we'll we'll get a reference point, yeah? Okay? Okay, yeah. Um, so we're gonna do the same circuit again, how much help would you like from me this time? You want me to still talk you through it? No, I try not as much, just if I, if I make a mistake, really. So you want to give it a go yourself, and if you say anything out, then I'll come in, yeah? Yeah. So you take Yeah, take just me. like, just remind me of something if I forget something. Okay, so just a bit of help, yeah? Yeah. Cool, but leave you to do as much as you, much as your, much as you can, yeah? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so it's a bit of everything. you got to be like, do you... Do you want to try it yourself, uh, but I'll come in if you forget something? Or do you want me to, before we get there, keep reminding you of stuff? No, just don't remind me of anything. Okay, unless you're messing me up, yeah? Yeah, unless... Cool. So that means you're trying it independently. Yeah. So we're jumping from me fully talking through that to you doing it independently, which is fine, if you yeah. feel you can handle it. Yeah, remember, we normally, like we say, there's a, that um, prompting level where I ask you questions on it, yeah? Okay, but I'll only do that if you're struggling with something, yeah? Yeah. So it's all yours then? Okay. Yeah? So yeah. after you move off, at the end of this road, turn right, please. Okay. We're not, we're not moving, are we? that final check again. See, don't come off the gas here. End of the road, turn right. Well done. Line. Yeah, right. it was nice and close, he wasn't over it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well done, right, good slowing down there. Okay, at the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right, please.
something. At the end of the road, turn right. Okay, I'll stop too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So here now, you know while you're waiting here, yeah? there's quite a few cars there. Use your handbrake. Where should your right foot be now? Over there. That's it. Keep your hand ready on the handbrake now. You can get your biting point ready. Yeah. And keep keep looking for that gap. Where should your left hand be? Here. On the handbrake? Ready? Oh yeah. Yeah. See the handbrake should have gone down yeah, there, there right now. Yeah, we could have gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. You gotta be ready for that gap. As soon as you see that gap. So this is what we can do in the upper road zone, you know when you're waiting, it's fine to use a handbrake and wait like this and get your feet ready. What's the band driver just done? Oh. Yeah, check that side again though. Okay. Yeah. So don't just focus on one side, make sure you keep checking, yeah. Okay, yeah. what could have what could have turned up on this side? Uh, okay, can't. slow down, brake. That's it. Remember which mirrors? Center. Get gear three, get gear three. Okay, okay. I know you know the turns coming up, but we can still get gear three in time. Yeah. Okay. Carry on, keep going, keep going, keep going. No need to slow down yet. Turn right, please. Well done, that's a good stopping position. Don't need to roll back though. Then, good on how you use the gas there. The clutch felt so weird to change, I mean, not the clutch, the, uh, the gear. gear yeah. To make sure the clutch pedal is fully down, sometimes your clutch yeah, isn't I fully down, you'll well, yeah, struggle to change it. And if you could park up on the left, please. Okay, how do you feel you did on those uh, upper? I think, I think it was decent. It was just, you know when we came down, I just, it feels like we're going so quick and I don't end up going into a road, so I just stopped braking earlier. Yeah, th that's good. Obviously, you don't want to approach it too fast. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as you did it, you usually like, oh, that's too slow, too early. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there, If there's a vehicle close behind, are they going to be expecting us to stop that soon? No. No. Your speed is good. Just let it roll up to there. Yeah. Yeah. And then just brake a little bit later, that's all. But the upper roads, is there anything you don't understand about them? No, I know exactly what I have to do. I was just to improve on it a little bit. That's it. You're just about doing it now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That clutch control is really good. But say if you, if you go to the end there and there's quite a few cars, use the handbrake. Yeah. Yeah. And get your feet ready. Okay. But for me, that is it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. On, on the uphill um, junctions. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, all we need to um, basically. That's all we had to cover, really. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, we're gonna in like, just like with the with the other stuff, we're gonna keep practicing it more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I don't want these videos for um, you guys that are watching here yeah, to be too long because this is all the information you really need. Yeah. Along yeah. with obviously the ultimate driving course here, yeah, where you've got the knowledge from. It, yeah. it saved us the time, and that was really good. Yeah. I yeah. think what we will finish off with now, though, is yeah is just um you know the gear changing one two to three let's do on a steep uphill road yeah and normally um when do we change from gear one to two uh from when we're about 10 miles per hour yeah but the like i have explained in the videos if the road's quite steep and uphill yeah um instead of 10 miles an hour when are you going to change it around 20. yeah around 20. you can either use that or you can use the rev counter yeah, yeah. instead of 2000 uh, go to around 3000 revs yeah like you yeah. explained to me earlier. Okay, so what we'll do this time, instead of turning right, we'll turn left. Then as soon as you turn left, we're going to turn right, yeah. And that's quite a long, long uphill road, yeah. Okay, okay, and on that road, we're going to change our gears 
a bit later. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to talk you through the timing of the gears? Do you want to give it a go yourself? Nah, because uh, I know like when I have to change them. Okay. So, it's so yours shouldn't it? be too bad, yeah. So that's all we want to do. Just change the gears, then we'll park up and end the lesson. Okay, yeah? that's fine. Yeah. End of the road, turn left please. So position this time, where should it be? More, like That's follow it. the curbs. Steer a bit more. And yeah, it's alright. What should you have used to go yeah, there? To That's it, good. And turn right. Okay. Never try and move the car without any acceleration, yeah. Not just never with the clutch on its own. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. No. Oh, no, yeah. Let's speed up now, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We're still yeah, get gear one, you're in neutral now. Get gear one quickly and carry on. Remember, you said you were going to do this yourself. When yeah. do you have to change it? It's an uphill road now. Around come on, speed up faster. 20 -ish. That's it. Till the speed drop back down. Yeah. yeah. Now which gear? No, gear two. That's it. That's it. Drop down quite a bit though. Yeah, see because it's steep up, up yeah. hill, yeah, but it's still enough to get you up the hill, yeah. Okay. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left lead. Actually you've got to be further down. Carry on. And if you could park up on the left. And here you don't have to brake too early either. Yeah, because it's slow down anyway. Yeah. That's fine just here. Okay, and switch off the engine. Right then, that was uh we uh like um we we got there quicker than uh I expected. I thought you might take a few more attempts to get the hang of the clutch here. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you did it. Obviously, you're not going to be fully confident on it. Yeah. Are you? Okay. It was just that right turn. I didn't like my position and everything, and just turning right was. Yeah. Just very so on this one as well, now. Yeah. yeah? That, that's one thing that always that's happened numerous times now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think next lesson we got to pay a lot more attention to that. Yeah. It yeah. might just me just just chucking it because you know when to turn. Yeah. yeah. But every time you see there's no oncoming car, you just cutting across yeah I know. yeah we've been through the dangers and everything so i think just to, every time we come to a right turn like that yeah if i just remind you not not to steer too early that will work yeah yeah okay because like i said it's not as if you don't know when to turn yeah, yeah you've got your reference points for that and uh, uh for, for that anyway um but here yeah, um road is uphill did you see how when we went into gear three yeah, yeah how the the steep hill really slowed your car down but that was still enough speed for third gear yeah. yeah you know if you had done it earlier the car would have slowed down a lot more and the car would you would have struggled to get up that get up this hill in uh, third gear and most likely the car would have stalled yeah yeah okay and i'm sure we will come across that in future lessons or yeah okay any anything you didn't understand no nah, nothing i don't understand i just know what i need to improve on that's it obviously we're going to keep practicing this more now yeah. yeah okay like i said the aim of these lessons is for you to like watch the videos and then understand uh well practice how to do it yeah okay i know how to do it then it's all about practice i like to like you know within the first um roughly 10 sessions 10 to 12 sessions i like to cover most of the topics you know the driving topics yeah then after that it's just about you just practicing and just just doing it really yeah okay and getting better yeah okay good right then guys so that's it really um this lesson on hills um i think will help people yeah massively if you're not if you're not doing it this way like i said every instructor has their different techniques different methods yeah but i feel this um this really works and, and helps learners massively so if you're struggling on hills try this technique out yeah and like always don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video